beautiful people your girl Mivel back here welcome to my channel if you're seeing me for the first time where have you been what's up thank you so much for tuning in today you guys by the end of this video you will know how to speak nigerian pidgin english like a pro you would understand the secrets behind the language like how we pronounce the words how we shape our mouth when we're pronouncing the words you're going to really really learn and you're going to enjoy watching so stay there okay this video was inspired is inspired by my very first nigerian pigeon english video here on youtube i was still a newbie okay i was still new on the platform i did that video that video did so well and um, people kept requesting that i do a part two i did a part two on the streets of abuja where i was speaking pigeon on the streets you know i titled that video i fought with a nigerian taxi driver but people were not still satisfied they want me to do this sit down video just like the other one in that video hmm, I explained Nigerian Pidgin English, I explained the history of the language, I explained a lot of our phrases, I told you guys what I beg means, komot, wahala, and why we say nawao, and why we say eh, 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 all those things I explained it, shebi, abi, I talked about the originality of Pidgin English, I talked about the history of Nigerian Pidgin English in that video. If you can watch that, see you guys, I legit had to watch that video last night to understand why people are so crazy about that video. After I watched the video, I clapped myself, my dears. You know, they say if lizard fall for ground, he go look left, he go look right. If nobody prays her, he go praise himself. Okay? I had to praise myself because I broke it down into tiny bits. I explained pigeon from my heart. I was surprised that I did so well in that video and I intend to do better in today's video. So if you're interested in learning the Nigerian pigeon English, the conk one, and you want to learn how to speak pigeon like a pro, then please keep watching. So let me start with questions like, have you eaten? Will you drink water? And things like that. I want to ask you if you have eaten, I'll go, you don't chop or you don't eat, you don't chop. I explained chop in that video. To chop means to eat, okay? You don't chop, you don't eat, you go drink water. The secret to this is that when you're asking a question, just like, would you drink water? You know, water, <laughs> water. That's how we are on to is water. You know, you have to stretch and stress the last word. You go drink water, you don't chop, you stretch it. So instead of saying you don't chop, you don't chop. Instead of saying you go drink water, you go drink water. Okay? It's very simple. Just learn to stretch and stress the last word. So let's go together. You go drink water. You don't chop, you go chop, you go chop means would you eat, you go chop rice, would you eat rice, you go chop rice, so that is the rice was stressed, was stressing, you go chop rice, you go chop bread, not you go chop bread, you go chop bread, you don't chop you don't chop the rice so the way you will say question mark do the word like that too you don't chop the rice you go drink water you go chop bread do you understand it so let's say i want to ask you if you're going to if you go to school today you go go school today you go go school you go to say you go means would you okay that way we have to have two goals now you go go school today you go go church today you get it so let's do it together now ask your sister you go go market today you go go shopping today you go go grocery store today so you're looking very moody or you're looking sick and i want to ask you if you're fine what do i say you day all right you they all right or you they fine or you they okay 
or you they normal you they okay you they normal you they all right you they fine fine not you they fine you they fine then i go i they okay or i know they okay i get headache i get headache or from the word belly we say belly so i want to say we say belly not belly okay from the word belly we say belly so i want to tell you that i'm not fine my tummy hurts i go i know they all right my belly they pain me or my head they pain me headache my head they pain me my hand they pain me my body they pain me so i want to ask you what i did wrong to you what do i say waiting i do you if you watch that video i'm talking about you understand what waiting means waiting what did i do to you waiting i do waiting i do you if somebody else is angry with me i'm like waiting i do am waiting i do am why should they vex for me you want to ask somebody if the person is mad at you you go you they vex for me why you they vex for me why you they vex for me you they vex for me waiting i do you what have i done wrong and i want to tell you that i'm not joking with you i'm not playing what do you say i know they play i know they play i know they joke okay any of those i know they joke i they serious this is a serious matter i'm not joking with you i know they joke i they serious no be joking matter this is not a joking matter no be joking matter i know they play i know they joke with you i know they joke with you not with with you so someone calls you and says who is with you you want to say i am with my wife what do you say i day with my wife i day with my wife okay in nigeria sometimes I tend to call people's wives madam and if somebody wants to ask me how is my husband the person will say how is oga or how is your oga so it's also the same thing when a man wants to introduce his wife to you he can go meet my madam or madam is at home my wife okay i don't like it but that's what it is so um you can say i deal with my madam or i deal with madam or i deal with my wife i am with my wife i deal with my husband i deal with my boss i deal with my brother so in nigeria your younger brother is your junior brother your elder sister is your senior sister i deal with my senior brother i deal with my junior brother i deal with my junior sister or now me and my junior sister they come i'm coming to your house with my younger sister me and my junior sister they come your house we they come we they come we are coming to your house now me and my junior brother they go the party <laughs> so i want to ask you if you have a child i'll say you get picking i want to ask you if you have kids i go you get children how many children you get you get picking i can go no i no get picking i never born i never born picking or i can go i get picking one picking or i get one son okay or i get many children or i get children yes i get children or yes i get three children or no i no get picking for me my answer is yes i get picking i get one son okay so when it's more than one child it's children some people go pickings them that one is very conk so the basic pigeon is picking for one child children for more than one so where you're picking where you're picking where is your child or where your children or how your children how are your kids how your picking 
how your children so the bus leaves at 6 a.m every morning i go the bus they come out six o'clock every morning the bus so you should see that video where i talked about come out come out means to go if i say i did come out it means i'm going out okay i did come out for here i don't come out it means i'm leaving or i did go i don't go it means i'm leaving i can say i don't go or i did go or i did come out okay so the train they come out 7 a.m every day the bus they come out 6 a.m every day so i want to ask you if you get if you see mabel very often i go you are mabel they see it means do you see mabel very often i can go yes we they see or no we know they too see that too means we don't see often okay we know they too see okay or yes we they see well well we see very well or yes we they see me and mabel they see simple you want to tell me that you are broke or you want to tell me you do not have money you go i know get money or i they broke i they broke or i they tired i they whatever word you want to put i they hungry i they come it means i'll be back i they come I'll, I'll, I'll be back okay i they broke i they sick and tired i they loyal i'm loyal to you i they humble i they fine i'm fine i they fix the word okay so you want to buy something and you go how much be this phone how much be this phone how much be this phone how much be that shoe how much do they sell the phone so how much is this how much not how much be this how much is how much be this phone how much be the phone okay and person goes not two thousand dollars for example that's outrageous for <laughs> a phone but not two thousand dollars i want to ask you what's the last price you can give me this phone for i go how much last how much last last what's gonna be your last price how much last you know and then you tell me one thousand eight hundred dollars nine be the last price or you tell me one thousand eight hundred dollars last I want to ask you if you're married I will say you don't marry because there's a question mark okay are you married you don't marry are you hooked you don't marry um, you guys this is where I'm going to stop this for now tell me what you think do you want us to go further with this do you want us to take it a step further do you want me to do another video about this I'm going to do this if of course you guys indicate interest a lot of you if you show interest and i'm going to do this but i've come to the end of this video so if you need to share with your friends please share the video with your friends but before i go i want to ask you something make you interpret this thing for me i never stay for village before but i can't say since i've been youtuber make i go one village go see how they take they do i can't go village go do youtube video when i don't watch the video translate that okay in the comments let me know how good you are thank you guys for staying with me hit the thumbs up button and then if you think you need to be part of this family then subscribe and then hit the notification bell beside the subscribed button so that each time i post a new video you're going to be the first person to know by the way how are you enjoying my nigerian travel diaries let me know in the comments i love you guys so much in the next one. Mwah. Bye.